just to confirm your name is Lakshit and you're reaching out about dental care right yep that's what i'm reaching for so in today's world creating a voice ai agent is become very easy but getting a phone number and connecting the phone number to retail ai has become very difficult today i'm going to show you a free method using which you can get a phone number and connected phone number to retail ai and make your voice ai agent so there are two ways using which you can get a phone number in retail ai one is you can buy a number directly over here but this is kind of a very expensive method which will cost you two dollar per month i'll show you a free method the second method is connecting your number via sip trunking it's nothing but just getting your number from some third party application like twilio and connecting over here so today's video will break down in three steps first step is to buy a phone number second step is to configure the sip trunking and third step is to import the phone number in, in retail ai so let's get started <laughs> Let's start with the first step of buying the phone number. Go to twilio.com, do the sign up or login. Then you will be brought to this dashboard over here. By default, you will get something fifteen point five dollar free credit, which will be enough for you to do all the testings. Okay. Now go over to search bar, search for buy a number, click on it, search your country over here, and all the number which are there will be listed down over here. For India, the numbers are not there, so you can use a US number. Okay. and you can buy any of the number so for example if i want to buy i can click on a buy over here and i can directly buy this number don't worry this amount will be deducted from your trial account now once you bought the number you can go to the active number and you can see your number would have been bought and now second step is to configure the sip trunking so for that go to search bar search for sip trunking and click on elastic sip trunk then click on create new sip trunk Give some friendly name. It could be any name, like retail connection test and create. Now we need to enable some of the option over here. So you need to enable symmetric RTP. Now you need to enable call transfer uh, and enable uh, PST and transfer and do the save button. Okay, so this step is done. Now for the next step, we need to go to the termination tab over here and now give any kind of a termination SIP URL. Let's say and after giving the name, uh, click over here to check its availability. Now open your Chrome tab and search for retail Twilio dog and click on the first of the dog link. Okay, so whatever step I was doing, I was looking from you and doing it. Okay, we need to follow all this step accordingly. So now we have already done this kind of general step. Now we are on the termination tab over here, and now we need to add this kind of IP access control list. So for that, we need to add this both control list. So first control list is default ACL one. Okay, so now come over here, click on plus icon, add the same name, default ACL one, uh, and give the same address, which is zero 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 one, and One create ACL now add second one default ACL two address is one twenty eight point zero point zero point zero and one create ACL now it's time to create the credential list so click on plus icon give any name okay it could be any name and this username and password is very important so uh, give it a proper username and password because this will be using inside the retail okay so let me add it so now once this is done click on save so now click on origination tab now we need to add the origination URI so click over here. and we need to get get this uri so go to the doc over here you will get this uh, uri so make sure there is no space or anything on the left and right side because i have wasted so much amount of time by, while going through all this thing so double check there is no space or anything okay now click on add now once this is done it would be automatically uh, saved now click on the number part over here and add a number which we had already uh, bought so click over here And add that number. So all the step over here is done. And now it's time to go to retail and add this SIP trunking. Okay. So now in retail, click on the plus icon, connect to your SIP trunking. So now we need to add the phone number. So as we can see, we have this phone number with the extension itself. So copy everything, and come over here and add it. And make sure there is no space or anything because this is very important because I have wasted my around one hour solving this whole thing. Okay. Please make sure. So now it's time to add the termination URI. So we'll go to the termination tab. We'll copy this termination again. I'm repeating. Please make sure everything is written properly because this will haunt you and take your lot of amount of time. So I have added this URI, and we also need to add this part as well. So I'll copy this. So when you are pasting this, sometimes the space might be left over here. So make sure there is no space. This is done. So now we need to add the uh, username and password which we already added. So I'll add mine. So give any kind of a nickname and then save it. So now once it is saved, you will be seeing it like here. Okay. For me, it is you can see it is written as make a outbound call. But if you are coming for the first time to this retail, there will be verification uh, button over here where you need to go and verify your identity. It will be very simple step. You can do it. Then you can uh, get this number. So now we need to have a outbound call agent. So I have already have created an agent. But if you don't know how to create an agent, just go and click on the agent. Create a new agent. 
okay and it will be kind of a voice agent we want a single prompt agent i won't be going deep over here because this video is not regarding how the agent work the video is this video is regarding mainly connecting the phone number but i want to show you is the phone number successfully connected for that we need to create an agent okay so let's come over here create it choose a gpt41 mini i think that's a cheap and works better then choose any kind of a voice over here there are many many voice for now i just like to go to my type of accent so i'll search for kind of india and i'll use monica and now we need to add the prompt over here so you can go to my school community where I, there is a page over here connect retail ai with twilio for outbound call and i have written all the steps which we just followed okay and also there is a prompt which i'll be using over here you can use your own prompt but i'm using this prompt which will help you so let's copy this prompt and come over here and paste it okay so once this is done so this is a very simple prompt this is kind of prompt regarding the dental clinic called toothsy which the agent will call you and uh, ask for your uh, preferred time your location and the problem which you are facing okay so this is done so you can just do come over here publish it and publish the version okay currently v2 because i have already done earlier now once this is done go back go to the phone number again in the phone number which we had added on the outbound call agent click over here and you might be seeing the same uh, agent which you have written click over the version whichever you want okay once that is done so now once it is added so now one more step is remaining for the free user who are using uh, twilio for free the person who is paid for twilio this step is not required for you but for the free user go to twilio go to account dashboard click on the phone number click on the manage click on the verified caller id so the number over here should be added this is the way for twilio to allow this number for the outbound and inbound call so just add the number and verify it okay so once that is done you can go to the retail ai so now click on this outbound call so now in my dynamic variable you might be seeing two variable name and phone number this this is because in the agent i am using this both name and phone number as a variable over there so for example if i write my name so whenever the agent will call me it will identify this with my name okay i can add phone number if i want if i don't i, I it's okay okay so now add the phone number to which you want agent to call okay with the extension so let me add so now once this is done so click on the call button so now you should get call anytime so yeah now as you can see i am getting the call on my kind of a button over here so let let us pick it hi lakshit this is aisha from tpc Thanks for submitting your request for a dental consultation. Do you have a couple of minutes to go over a few quick questions to get you ready for your visit? Yeah, for sure we can go it. Just to confirm your name is Lakshit and you're reaching out about dental care, right? Yeah, that I that's Yeah, that's what I'm reaching for. Perfect. I'll just ask a few quick questions to better understand your needs. Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. We can go through it, yeah. Can you tell me where you're located or the area you'll be coming from? So I'm located in uh, Mumbai in Maharashtra India. What dental issue are you currently facing pain cleaning braces or something else? Uh it's regarding braces. When would you prefer to visit the clinic? You can uh, mention a day or time that works best for you. Um uh is tomorrow fine for you? Have you recently visited a dentist for this issue? No, no, I have not I have not visited. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we schedule? No, there is nothing much. Thank you. Thanks so much, Lakshit. Well, review your details and get back to you shortly to schedule your visit. Thank Take you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. So as you can see, that's how you create an outbound uh, agent over here. So, and this is all the script which I have written over here. This is all the prompt. You can tweak the prompt as per you want. This is the prompt which I have made. It, I just made this prompt within kind of around two to three minutes with just Chat GPT and uh, Cloud use. Okay, but I hope you like the video. I hope you will create a first voice AI agent, or you must have resolved the query you which for which you came for the video. If you are liking my content, please press the like button. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.